Hello everybody! Today I'm going to be relamping a 1948 Noma C6 flat saucer bubble light. For this I'm going to need a, of course, a dead bubble light, a 15 volt 5 watt long shank light bulb. These can be found on eBay or Etsy. vice grips to hold it together, a couple of blades to cut it apart, something to dig the bubble light out of the flaming hot water over here, pliers to get the light bulb out, so and then uh, Elmer's glue all is what I use to glue them back together. So let's get started. First thing I've got to do is simply drop the bubble light down in the hot water and let that plastic soften up a little bit. We'll see if the bubble tube goes. There it goes, a little bit. So that should be pretty good. Yep, it's pretty hot water. I can barely put my hand in there. So that, well there's the next step. I want to take the bubble tube out and put that aside and then let that soak some more. Go ahead and open one of these blades. Definitely want a glove, a thick leather glove. And I've got my little extracting stick. Almost forgot a real important step. I'm going to take a sharpie and I may have already done it. I didn't forget it, but I'm going to make a mark on both segments. And I have a habit on these of right at the end on Noma, just right before that. So now I can put it back in the soak. Let that soften back up. What the plan is, is right on that seam, I've got to start splitting that all the way around. I think this one might be an easy one, which that's fantastic if it's going to be an easy one. This is not always the case. In fact, that other one I did was a lot more tough than this one. go back the other way. I started getting down in the red a little bit with my blade. But that's not a big deal. It'll all glue back down. That's where I'll probably put the vice grip. Let's try this little blade here. That's where it's warped. There, got it. And there's a little, see what I did there? That's no big deal. So that part's done. Let's get the bulb out. I 
and that one's in there good, but just rock it back and forth. And that's that one failed already. And then it'll just start twisting out. And then at that point, it'll just push right on out. And then always be careful of the broken glass. So that's done. Kind of clean out a little bit of residue that's in there. And then going to take my new bulb and put the glue around the base of the glass where it meets the metal base of the bulb. And then kind of start twisting it in like just screwing it into the socket and then it'll bottom out and just kind of make sure it seats down in there and we're relamped. I did already check the bulb with the 9 volt battery. It does work. As you can see Next, I'll lift that spot up where I got a little wild with the blade and get some glue under there. Don't want to knock it off. Got to get a little glue worked in there. that should be good and now I can go around the circumference here And then find my mark, put the two halves right back together because these have a tendency to warp really bad and they'll pretty well only go back together one way. Very carefully wipe off excess glue. Now I'll get a vice grip. I'll put it right there on that really warped part. Not too much pressure. That should be about right. And now I need to get the other half. Need a little more pressure. And if that's not going to work, I can try this one. That might work. See, it squeezed a little bit more glue out, so I got adequate pressure on it now. Let's just simply let that sit until the glue dries, and then we can do the next step. 
I did one earlier so I can go on to the next step and keep this moving along. Now I can take the bubble tube. Let's go ahead and get that excess old adhesive off. careful with these tubes. I don't want to break that and let the methylene chloride out. That makes a big old mess. Kind of just cleaning off a little residue there. Let's see if this will fit. just want it to touch the top of the light bulb and that is a 1948 Noma flat saucer relamped. Give it a quick test. It does work. I can put it in a regular C6 socket. Here's a group I've been working on. Put them up to about 90 volts and see what happens. And I relamped this one, this one, and this one. And this one also needs a replacement tube. But we'll come back when all those get to bubbling. After a few moments, they're all bubbling away. So once again, this has been relamping a Noma C6 flat saucer bubble light. Thank you for watching.